right, here we are, folks. Um, we're going to show you the ABCs of centrifuge operation. Hopefully, you watched the video on building your unit. Um, and again, operating it is just as simple. Uh, we're doing it with the unit we just built. We're not running it. I'd be having to scream over the motor. I think if I explain it to you, it's all the same whether the motor's running or not. Okay, up here is the bypass valve. Okay, I have a bypass valve on my unit, but I use the SureTech pump, which I can set the pressure on. So I always start it with the ball valve open. Okay, come down here. Here's a SureTech. This is a SureTech pump. Okay, um, here is the ball valve supplying the pump. Let's open that. Of course, there would be a cord, and we would plug it in. Okay, the pump's running. Come up here. It's running. It's all bypassing. Okay, as I turn this, the pressure gauge goes up. Let's just pretend, okay? It's a brand new pump. SureTech pumps are preset at 50 PSI. So on the gauge, we'd be at 50 PSI. Okay, so we come down here to the pump. We move off this black tip. Right here is a lock nut. Take the lock nut loose and take a 1 8 inch Allen wrench. I believe it's clockwise, but you can watch your pressure gauge as you turn it. And you can turn this right up to 90 PSI. Lock it. Put the little tip back on. I'm not really sure what the tip's for. It usually breaks off anyway. Okay. Come back here. Now you're already preset at 90 PSI. You can open this. This powers down. We're bypassing. I would not take this off because even though we're bypassing, we're still bleeding a little oil through. If you're going to take your rotor, try to get your rotor out, turn the pump off. Okay? Um, now, for those of you that have an Oberdorfer or a pump where you cannot preset the pressure, that is what the uh, bypass valve is. As you close the bypass valve, the pressure goes up. Once you get to 90 PSI, that's where you're leaving it. You're running part of your oil through the centrifuge, diverting the other part through the bypass valve back in. Okay? Um, one thing I will show you, in a case like this, instead of just running your dirty oil into the top with your clean oil, because there is a process, you have to make so many passes, okay, which means this is a 60 gallon per hour, one pass is per hour. That's where you've processed one drum load every hour. So four passes would be four hours of running. Um, I don't like mixing my dirty oil with the clean, and it's basically a convection thing. Whatever the temperature of the oil is, supply side of the pump, you're going to lose a percentage of a degree, maybe a degree in, you know, 1.2 degrees, but you're still talking a convection process of your oil. The hot oil is coming up, the cooler oil, and again, it would start to drop. Um, so what I do is in this drum here, I would hook my bypass into this. Notice it drops it right down on top of the supply tube. So the only thing that's dropping in would be the clean oil. Of course, there's a bunch of crap in my drum too. Um, okay, this would be where the centrifuge mounts on this one. It's dropping the clean oil in. The bypass is hooked up right here. Bypassing the oil down, figuring this is all filled, so all your dirty oil is being sent to the bottom of the drum again. I like that one. Um, if you watch one of our videos, we're going to show you the different ways of mounting them. And there you have it. I mean, that's how simple. It doesn't get much simpler. There's nothing here that is hard. Do not be discouraged. Do not be a little bit intimidated. The centrifuge like we've shown you on previous videos the centrifuge is you know that's it this is the rotor the oil comes in here up the shaft notice the two holes it's it sits on this there's two holes in the rotor as this fills up once it's full under pressure it's shot through these two nozzles 
causing it to spin. There you go. Nice, nice spin. Quiet spin. Top goes back on. I mean, this is the way to clean your oil. Uh, you buy a unit, you set it up, you know what, you're good for years. That's how simple it is. Thank you.